Hi, Tom here. In this week's Circle Line Art School video, I'll show you one way to draw a table and a chair using one point perspective. Start by drawing a horizontal line towards the top of your page and then a dot to represent the vanishing point in the middle of this horizontal line. Next, at the lower part of your page, you could draw the top front part of the table and then we can draw two vertical lines, one on the right and then one on the left. So this would be the rectangle for the front of the table. Now because this is in one point perspective and we're looking straight on at the table, all of these lines will be vertical or horizontal. So we can give the table a thickness by drawing another horizontal line slightly below the top surface of the table. And then we can draw a line on the left for the table leg thickness, for the front table leg thickness. And then we can repeat that on the right hand side for the right hand table leg. And then maybe one more line below the surface of the table, a sort of structural line of the table. So all these lines are just vertical or horizontal. Next, we can use our vanishing point to plot out the perspective lines, the lines that go away into the distance to the vanishing point. So any two parallel lines which are going away from us, directly away from us, will look like they go towards our vanishing point. But horizontal lines stay horizontal, so we can draw a horizontal line for the back of the table. We can also use the vanishing point to work out the baseline for the legs of the table. Now we've got the two perspective guidelines for the back two legs of the table. Then we can follow down from the far corner of the table on the right and on the left and then stop the table legs on the line, the perspective line, which is a soft guideline. Then we can draw the thickness of the table legs too and the base line of the thickness of the table legs will go towards the single vanishing point because it's a receding line. Next we could draw the front part of a chair by just drawing a square or a rectangle underneath the table. Then we can use our vanishing point to see how the seat of the chair would recede away from us and towards the vanishing point on the horizon line. And we can also use the vanishing point on the horizon line to work out the baseline for the back of the chair. So now we can draw the front chair leg on the left and the right. And next, because we've got a guideline for where the back chair legs can go, we can draw those in as two more vertical lines on each side. Make sure that the back chair legs are higher up than the back table legs for it to work well. And then we can give some thickness to these various structures of the chair. Now if we follow up from the back chair legs and draw two lines above the table, these two lines on the right and the left would be the width of the back of the chair, if the chair was just had a vertical back. And then we can just draw a horizontal line for the top of the back of the chair. There would also be two parallel lines and therefore they would recede to the vanishing point. But that's just a guideline, we only need a very short amount of the receding lines on the right and the left. So now we've got a basic table and chair drawn in one point perspective. 
Next, we could perhaps draw a piece of paper or a booklet or a book on the surface. And again, if that was parallel to the table, it would share the vanishing point that the table and chair share. So the two lines that are receding from us go just to the vanishing point. Next, we could draw a line on the left and the right of the table. And this could represent the back line of the base of a wall so that our table and chair are in a room. Then just draw a vertical line on the left and the right. And that becomes the back wall of a room. Next, we can use our vanishing point again. Because all of these shapes are parallel to each other and receding to the single vanishing point. That means the right hand side of the room and the left hand side of the room, the base lines, will also go to the vanishing point. On the left, we could draw a door. The vertical lines of the door will stay vertical, but the top line of the door will go to the vanishing point. But this top line of the door on the left is higher than the horizon line, so it's going downwards. All of the other lines that are receding in this drawing are going up towards the vanishing point, but the top of the door is going down because the vanishing point is on the horizon line, which is an imaginary line which indicates the height of the eye of the viewer. So you could finish off your drawing with a few more shapes, maybe some pictures on the wall and some more details. I hope you find this drawing useful for your own drawings. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please subscribe and click the bell so that you can stay up to date with all the content that I make. If you'd like to join one of my online drawing courses, please visit circleandartschool.com where you'll find full details and special offers. Thanks very much for watching and see you next time.